Hey, this is Owen Priest for Science and Society. So recently, I came across this really neat chemistry article, and I thought the chemistry was so cool that I wanted to share it with you. So the title of the article is Surface Enhanced Raman Spectroscopy, a Direct Method to Identify Colorants in Various Artist Media. Now, if you want to read the article, just pause this video and copy down the reference. Now, the chemistry in this article is basically using light, and it uses the light to measure this thing called Raman scattering. If you want to read more about that technique, there's a great entry in Wikipedia, and you can go there and it'll walk you through the technique. Now, if you've had college level organic chemistry, you're halfway there in understanding this technique, because the basic principles for understanding Raman spectroscopy are the same as the principles we teach when we teach about infrared spectroscopy. Okay, so here's where I think this paper gets really cool. So the authors of this paper have basically used their science to help us better understand something about the world of art. And anytime you can take science and art and wed them together, I think that's a really cool marriage of ideas. So one of the authors on this paper is Professor Rick Van Dyne, and he teaches in the chemistry department here at Northwestern University. Now it just so happens his office is right downstairs from me, so I thought I'd run downstairs and ask him to explain what exactly it was that he wrote about in this paper. You ask about the technique. The technique is uh, called surface enhanced Raman spectroscopy. Raman is a me means of measuring the vibrational spectrum of molecules, materials, what have you. And if you look at this image of uh, Margaret Sloan, uh, the Mary Cassatt image, uh, what you see is uh, a variety of colors, uh, yellows in the upper uh, portion of the image, uh, facial tones, uh, blues of the girl's dress, and so on. And one of the questions you can ask about those, uh, that painting is, well, uh, are those uh, colors made from inorganic materials or organic materials? And surface nance, Raman scattering, Raman scattering, tell you uh, that information. So it turns out that a specialized version of Raman, surface enhanced Raman, allows you to see the vibrational spectrum of all the colors that are organic in this, uh, in this painting. One of the things I was really curious about was just exactly how is it that Professor Van Dyne got involved with this person at the Art Institute to be able to look at these paintings in the first place? And what he said was that it was uh, purely, purely accidental and very uh, fortunate. Collaborator, uh, Dr. Francesca Casadio, uh, is a uh, is a Raman spectroscopist by training, and when she was hired as the uh, uh, Andrew Mellon uh, Art Conservation Scientist at the Art Institute, she uh, took it upon herself to come up and visit me and uh, proposed a, a collaboration. Okay, so finally, I asked Professor Van Dyne if he can tell me. So where does he envision this technique going in the future? And the answer he gave me blew my mind. And I think it will yours too. Listen to what he said. So this opens up a whole new area of almost forensic investigation, if you will, uh, of artworks. Think of CSI for art. Wait a minute. Did he just say CSI? Okay, now that's really cool. So Professor Van Dyne actually showed me on his computer a copy of a painting where he sort of did this forensic chemistry slash art technique. And well, it was just really, really cool. And I can't show it to you yet because the paper hasn't been published, but I'll tell you what, as soon as that paper is published, I'll come back, I'll show you pictures of it, and I'll explain how he used this technique to do this really cool chemistry art project.